peculiar people, a holy nation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. Now, your attitude must be completely different. Let me give you an example of this. Now, the people in the world, they want to get in touch or they want to be friends with influential people. Yes? Uh, we have a family friend, his name is Dr. Vankede. He was, uh, he started, this was back in Nasik, uh, when we were back in Nasik at that time. He, he was in, uh, he came to work in the hospital there. And in the OPD, they have different doctors sitting and the patient can go to whoever doctor they want, whichever doctor they want to consult. So, Dr. Vankede was very new there. And a big shot came in there. He was very influential, worked with a lot of contacts, rich man and all that politically connected. So one of the senior doctors, he came to Dr. Vankede and he said, 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 he he continued doing his work. So the senior doctor came back and said, come and introduce you to him. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he just kept sitting there and he said, Right. And within three months, that's exactly what happened. Within three months, that man would only see Dr. Vankede and no other doctor. That is the attitude that he has. Why? Because he is a peculiar, of a peculiar people. That is the attitude we need to have also. Think, don't think like the world thinks. Think the way God wants you to think. You are a royal priesthood. Don't run after influential people. Now, kings and princes who try to increase their influence the way the world does, they make a mess of their lives. Let me give you two examples from the Bible. King Solomon, he was supposed to be the wise, he was the wisest man. But because he wanted his influence in the neighboring kingdoms, he married heathen women and they made a mess of his life. Another example, Ahab, Ahab the king of Israel, if you look at him, he had the potential to be the greatest king, right? He was, I mean, when the prophet Elisha was dying, King Ahab was right there with him, right? He had the potential to be the greatest king, but because he wanted to increase his influence in this world, he married the princess of a neighboring kingdom, her name was Jezebel, and she made a mess of not just his life, but of the entire kingdom. Right? So if you try to increase your influence the way the world does, you'll end up making a mess. Rather depend on God, obey Him. The key always is obedience. Why are you a holy nation, etc, etc? Because you obeyed God in the first place. So now, now that you are in Him, continue obeying Him. 